All right, folks, let's go ahead and discuss printing a design. Under File, simply click on Print Preview. Now, you have uh, an amazing amount of settings in here, so let's just go ahead and jump and click on Settings. Uh, number one, you have your margins. You can actually specify the exact margin spacing for left, right, top, and bottom, uh, although I recommend you use the, the default settings. Uh, next, you have the actual size. If checked, the design will print out on the paper in the actual size. Uh, now, if it's a very large design, it could require multiple pages. Uh, that's normally the only time that I don't put it in the actual size. Uh, next, you have crosshairs. If checked, horizontal, vertical, and 45 and 135 degree lines will appear over the top of the design. Uh, this can be very beneficial when you're using our template tearaway for absolutely proper placement on a garment. Next is your color analysis. If checked, this will print the sequence of colors used in the design in the order they will stitch out. Uh, beyond that, backdrop. If a backdrop image was brought into the design, by checking this box, the image will display underneath the stitches. You can also choose to do it in one page. Checking this box uh, absolutely will make all the information on one page. Uh, it may not make the design print in actual size, although. Header. Checking the header box will print the header at the top of the page. Uh, artwork. If the artwork box is checked, it will print any artwork in the design. Hoop. If checked, a hoop that you selected will print, uh, and the image of the hoop will actually print out on the design. Uh, the 3D. If checked, the image will print in a 3D, a very, very realistic view. Footer. If checked, the footer will be displayed at the bottom. Uh, the stitches. If checked, the view of the stitches will be printed. Uh, if not checked, an embroidery object will not appear. In the title box, you can type a little, or excuse me, a title for the design if you want, and it will be printed in the top of the page. Uh, when you have the boxes checked that you want, uh, simply click on, we'll go ahead and click OK here. Uh, you simply just click on print. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the second page here. You're actually just looking at the image. You can zoom into it. You'll see I have the header up here. I get all the pertinent information on my width, my height, number of stitches in the design, the name of the design, number of colors in the design. You'll see that it's scaled at 100%. Going to the second page, you get the color analysis. It will now give you all the colors. Now, if you have chosen a thread type other than Floriani under Tools and General Options, it will also print not only the color, it will print the uh, thread number and the family of thread that you have selected. So it's a really, really wonderful settings. Uh, once you're all set and have it printed, simply hit print to print it. Once you're done, just hit close and you're back to the original screen. Have a great day.